Sometimes lousy things happen. We got probably like right where the turn is, right before State Street. And I heard something and it starts going boom, 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 boom. So I was like, okay. That's Skylar Harden, and those are her two friends. All three of them were heading back toward Corden and Marengo Thursday night along this stretch of I-265 after doing some shopping in Clarksville. So I hit the radio, I literally punched it, and then we just like start hearing it, and then I like got over, and as soon as I got over, it went pop. As the daughter of a soldier, Skylar says changing a tire isn't a foreign concept. However, on this seemingly doomed and excessively hot occasion, she could not get the lockdown lug nuts to move. So they started working the phones, but they had about as much luck with the phones as they did with the tire. We had nobody to come help us because everybody's so far away. But we've all seen enough hero stories to know when patience is fleeting and fury is starting to set in, that is when the hero is introduced. Name is Wilbur Turner. That's W-I-L-B-U-R, Turner, T-U-R-N-E-R. With the quiet confidence 37 years as a state trooper brings, Wilbur Turner, who just ended his shift and was heading home, instantly went to work in the 95 degree heat. As I told the young ladies, I said, I have daughters, and I hope that if they were in the same situation, someone would stop and help them. Perhaps that heat was a speed incentive. The trooper was done in less than 15 minutes. We do this on a daily basis. This is nothing different than we do day in, day out. Nothing that any other trooper would have yeah. done. <laughs> no idea. And after profusely thanking the now profusely sweating trooper, Skyler and friends were back on the interstate. It's nice to see people be nice, so that's the whole, that's the good thing about it, I guess, is bringing people together, because we all agree that he's awesome.